going on, y'all? It's your boy Ben and Seven. And my name's Rita Nixiel. And we're here to review Animal Creation. She can walk. Forget me, sister. Forever that's the same. This movie is a prequel, prequel, I guess? It's a prequel to the Animal movie, which came out in 20, uh, 2014, which in turn is a prequel to The Conjuring. Kind of. It's in the same universe. It tells about the story of the animal doll, but anyway. This movie follows um, a bunch of different people. The Mullins family. It starts out with them. Their uh, daughter is killed in a freak accident. Nothing, nothing serious there. But and then it, it, that's all it shows. It shows them all being murdered and the family moving on. Twelve years later, we come to this sister, uh, Shard, who's played by Stephanie Sigmund, and a father, who we don't really know too much about, he's just driving the bus, is taking these kids from an orphanage to live at the Mullins' house because they want to atone for their sins from whatever happened, or they have a big house, empty house, so they're inviting people to live there to, until they can get adopted. Right. Not a bad thing, they're awesome people. He's, he's kind of creepy in the way he does yeah. it, and he acts, he's just staring at them a lot. But he's seen some shit, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was so All right. I would, too. Hmm? Oh, yes. Um, things start happening, and this girl, uh, Janice, who is uh, affected by Polo, she, she walks around with a brace on her leg and a, one, a single crutch on one arm. So she can't really do anything. She needs a special chair to go up the, up the stairs and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. She finds, she disobeys the um, father, or the owner of the house, Samuel Mullins, who's played by Anthony Lapaglia. Lapaglia? Lapaglia? Yeah. Sorry for messing her name. I have it written over there. So anyway, he plays the father. He plays the father figure, the man of the house, the previous owner. Um, he disobeys her, goes to a locked room that was his daughter's previous uh, house. Oh, we don't know a room, but we don't yeah. understand what's going on. So she goes in there. She unlocks a uh, door and sees the animal doll, which is creepy as holy hell. Yes. Open the door. Black eye sitting there because it's in shadow and just creepy. It looks keeps really turning, bad. Keeps turning her head every time. You just go. It wouldn't know. That's later in the movie when it starts getting more active. But she's just yeah. sitting there staring at it. Open the door, hold the door, open the door. He's still sitting there. But they're always by itself. So it just really looks creepy. Yeah. Things happen like that throughout the movie. It gets creepier and worse and worse. They're seeing things. Eventually, whatever demon thing, we know it's not the girl that they, they thought it was. Because yeah. she has black face, claws. She's like 10 feet tall, glowing eyes. Yeah. We don't get to actually see her really, other than in the shadows like that. She eventually affects Janice. Which leads her friend, or uh, her sister, I guess. They want yeah. to get off to the sister together. Yeah. Linda, who's played by, is that Luli? Yeah. Wilson? Luli Wilson? Luli Wilson. To uh, try to investigate and figure out what's going on. She realizes the doll has affected her, or something's wrong, so if she's got to get rid of the doll, you'll save Janice. That just pisses the demon off even more. Right. So then things start starts going down. Everyone starts seeing demons. They start getting attacked by various creatures. People start dying left and right. Yeah. It's terrible. And then... Near the end, we find out the story was and why the animal doll was created in the first place. So this is how it first came to being. Mm -hmm. And this doll is still in existence today, apparently. It is uh, actually at... This story, the overall Conjuring story, follows Ed and Lorraine Warren. Mm -hmm. They're demonologists and exorcists and all that stuff. They hunt down demons and stop things like yeah. this. The animal doll is one of the worst cases in history. And they still exist. It's actually the Raggedy Ann doll. It's not the doll they have in the movies. Mm -hmm. It's actually a Raggedy Ann doll, which I think I'll still post a picture if I have it. It follows that. Anyway, this is the prequel to the Annabelle, which is even freakier mm -hmm. talking about the doll, and it has more of a cult stuff going on. So, yeah. overall, I thought it was a really good movie. And it tied in, at the end of the movie, tied in really well to the Annabelle story, which tied in overall to the overall Conjuring main series yeah. together. Yeah. So, I know you don't like horror movies that much. Yeah. So, what would you rate this movie then, Robert? Okay. Now... It's just like you said. I mean, this horror movie, just like any other horror movie, it's the same thing. You go, you see them do dumb stuff, as usual, and He's the characters, about. you know, like like characters going, you know, they say don't go in there, but you're going to do it anyway. You're a kid. The horror movies aren't around. This is happening in like the 50s or 60s, I think it was. I think 50, 80s. Yeah, but like it was just so, it was just driving me crazy. You're going to go into the room when he told you not to go into the room. 
<laughs> then he, then you know, they don't find out at first. Then you go back into the room with your best friend, and they, then she keeps grabbing and stealing stuff and running away, she, uh. and stealing stuff. She sees toys she wants hey. to play with. It's, it's, a, it's a, she's a kid. She's like 11, 12 years old or something like that. Stealing is stealing. You're not even leaving the house. <laughs> still in the same house. That's the issue. Stealing is stealing. Okay, she stole. She's dead. Somebody. It, it she don't, didn't need a use for it. It don't matter. It don't matter, though. You don't go to somebody's room. I don't want no one going in my room. Just because I'm dead don't mean you won't touch my stuff. You That's crazy. You're going to sell yourself anyway. When you die. That's precious stuff to me. But anyway. You don't need it. Anyway. <laughs> but anyway, but yeah, you know, I mean. Guys to kill everyone. <laughs> but anyway, I mean, like I said, the movie was okay. You know, I had my little scares here and there. There's some I jump jumped. scenes. Um, you know, I mean, it's, it's just... Definitely plays on one of my biggest fears. I have a really strange phobia. Yeah. I can see things, but things that crawl at me. Not spiders. Those are fine. Oh, but bigger things that crawl at me. A dog's running at me. People on hands and knees like crawling at me. That freaks me the hell out. You have a dog. She doesn't run at me. <laughs> what are you talking about? Neither oh is this to urge to <laughs> kick her when she does that. She's running at me. It's black outside. I open the door. I see her running at me. I have to urge her, to resist the urge to slam the door shut or kick her. And <laughs> oh, I do. God. I don't hurt her. Oh my but gosh. It freaks me out regardless. But then this movie had people crawling galore. Almost as bad as the movie Mother. Go back and check out that movie. Uh, In the opening scene with the girls crawling everywhere. Oh, that freaks me out so bad. He did. That's it also did. why the grudge hurt me so bad, because when she crawls down the stairs, that part freaked me out. It didn't freak me That's out. That's it. It didn't freak me out that much. I think the biggest thing that I can handle me out ghosts was and the, demons, but the crawling things, that freaks me out. I don't like the whole head turn thing. I was freaking me. The dog was freaky as hell. Yeah. The dog excuse kept me. moving. <laughs> Sorry, excuse me. Okay, no, no. My bad. <laughs> the dog kept turning its head. Like, it wasn't really anything you saw. Yeah. Like, she, she turned the head away. She go do something else, and when she turns back, Turn whatever, back yeah. so the head's already turned back, looking at her or yeah. something, or it's moved entirely. She looks through the keyhole, see the doll <laughs> sitting on the uh, rocking chair. She like opens the door, and the doll's gone. The rocking chair's still moving slowly down, but the, doll, she, the doll's gone already. Yeah, a couple of times they pour through the doll. You can see it was crazy, it was but I loved it. I love the. It was always dark there. When it was night, it wasn't that scary. They had some yeah. jump scenes having their daytimes, which means you're not safe in light either. But overall, like I said, I'm giving this movie seven point one. I mean, okay. it's it was it's an average horror movie. It's not really anything that's like I wouldn't watch it again, nothing like that. Cause like I said, it's a horror movie. It's the same thing. Mm -hmm. I think the best parts was you know, which is one thing I do. I would like to tell people: if you go see a horror movie, go see it with a crowd of people because it's yes. mad funny. Because everyone's kind of like. Do not go in there. Like you know that's, how you go to a theater and you just have a whole bunch of people. They're like, "Don't do that." What's well, wrong with watch you? I'm thinking that's stupid. That's stupid. Popcorn, yeah. popcorn. That's stupid. Don't do that. That's yeah. Stupid. But when people in the theater are behind me screaming, "What the fuck are you doing? Do yeah. Why are you doing?" I love that. that. Like that's the best part about going funny. to the movies with group people because it's like, "Oh my god! Oh, he's she's stupid! You dumb motherfucker! What's wrong with you?" Like it was just so fun. Like everybody was doing that, and Sorry we all about eleven year old by the way. Yeah, <laughs> and we, it was all it was just it was just all over the place. Everybody was just just screaming but out you stuff. Think, these girls don't have that much TV or anything. Like TV hasn't it's like all black fifty, so it's all like barely coming to its own. They have like the big box sets and everything, yeah. and his TV didn't even work, so they don't have too much horror to still, go off of. Today we think zombie apocalypse won't happen because we have so many zombie movies. How to kill mm -hmm. them? It's our first zombie ride. They want to jump to it and start shooting a head. That's at. true. We have so many horror movies. Oh, you think dark, a dark, scary hallway, demon in there, open closet, demon in there. We have a door open by itself, demon. <laughs> Stay under your covers, demon under your covers too. But that's what I'm saying. But that's, but that's what I'm saying about horror movies. They're not, they're not as as great as they used to be because it's like you kind of. That's because they're so oversaturated with horror movies. Where you're used to it now. Yeah, because there's only so many things you can scare you. It's with. so predictable because now you kind of like because you get scared a couple of times, but then it kind of gets a little bit predictable because you're like, oh okay. But overall, it's seven point. So Rio. I'm actually giving this How movie. How about you, man? I'm actually giving this movie similar, a 7.5. It had the elements. The music I thought was really good. I forgot about the music. The whole violins, the, violin, the violins, music, oh. the overall, like, the thrumming. You hear the heartbeat in the background as things are going on. So she's sitting there staring at things, waiting. You hear the waiting. It's nothing. Signs. Also, you hear the, the loud bass and, and, building and, and, up as things are happening. trust me, they did a lot of building up. On, you knew it was going to be scary when you, hear, when you, when you uh, heard that music because it was like, okay, here we go. So dun, movie, dun, dun, dun. Like with a lot of dun, movies, dun, dun, the music dun, dun. really set the pace, set the uh, feels of the movie. It wouldn't have been nearly as scary if it had music in the background talking. Oh, yeah. All it needed music. There have been some movies that have any music at all, and they went with realism. And it was yeah. scary as well ish, but some of the elements they did. So if you're just like alone in a cave, music would kind of offset it. You like that whole silence factor and things crawling, things chittering. But this didn't have that because it had the music to play on. 
So, music was good. The graphics were really good, the way the doll moved and acted. There was one scene that bothered me slightly. What was that? It was when the uh, father, or the, or, sorry, not the father, Samuel Mullins, the uh, man of the house, the owner yeah. of the house, whatever, the we're, father we're, of the girl's dead girl. We're just spoiling this stuff. It's yeah. spoiling this stuff. We have the spoil thing, but and quick spoil. I love how in, old, in previous horror movies, Hold Him the Cross or Holy Order yeah. will save you. This just, nowadays, it just pisses whatever demon you're fading off. Yeah. But so that was, that was. He that held was. up a cross to the thing. She went, she backed into the shadows. You saw her eyes were still glowing. Then yeah. went to cracking the bones. She grew bigger. And then his hand, as he was holding it, his hand started snapping back. Yeah. And he dropped the cross. Then his whole body's like contorted and went I, dead. I think for me, one <laughs> of the. can't save you anymore. I liked it. I think for me, one of the crazy parts um, that I saw was the, uh, was the, the actual sister. Um, what's her name? The, uh. Stephanie, uh, Sister Charlotte. Sister Charlotte. There was a scene where she had the girl in the wheelchair. Everybody was playing. Because there was a couple of times where I'm like, do you know not see her getting hurt? Do you all not hear her? Do you not? It was just crazy. Like, it was driving me crazy. Like, there was a couple of times where she was outside. She was like, I'm going to put you in the sun. Yeah. It's great. And then all of a sudden, she was like, sister? Sister? And she's pushing her. It was sister. Yeah. No, no, no. But I thought it was. Oh, that I was. I thought it was at It first. looked like the sister, but it wasn't the but sister. Then, <laughs> but, but, but still, though, it's like, you don't see her screaming. And all that stuff. I'm like, they're outside playing like nothing's happening. They're just like, one, hey, what's up, what's up? And then all of a sudden she goes, duh, 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 duh. Ah! I'm looking around like, are you serious? Y'all don't see this? Y'all don't hear this? Like, it was crazy, man. Like, I was like, oh, I was getting pissed. And dumb girls pissed me off. Did she scream? Yeah, she screamed. I thought she was yelling, like, sister, what are you doing, scream, sister? Yell, yeah, Did she scream? Yeah, okay. Scream, yelling, same thing. You eh, could, I will. But, and that's nothing. Dumb girls pissed me off. Oh, don't piss me off trying to act all tough and act like they cool. And I That's hate a people like that. teenager thing. I understand that, but oh, but they pissed me off. If you're a 16-year-old or whatever it is, like near the end of your adoption sequence, you're 18, you become an adult and you're forced yeah. out of the adoption. She was, a, she was a teenager, so they're all gushing over boys, looking at magazines and all that stuff. But the two younger kids, the two ones we're talking about, um, well, Linda and Janice, yeah. and their respective uh, actors, actresses, yeah. they were like, 10, 11. They were younger. They didn't care about boys yet. They just want to play right. with their dolls and all that stuff. May have been younger than 8, 10, 11. Didn't give the actual age, but they looked fairly 10 or 11 ish. But the other ones are like 14, 15, and 16. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, because so they were It'd be kind of fun. Yeah. You don't want to care. You don't want to talk about boys with me, with us. So we, we don't want to play hide and seek and play with dolls with you. So go do your own thing. Yeah, that's true. But they had to be so, mean about it. They had to be ads. Yeah, that's a typical thing. Teenagers or kids always do that with each other. That's, that's how you grow some of chest in your hair. Hair in your chest. <laughs> hair in your chest. <laughs> But yeah, is there, is there anything else, man? So I really enjoy this movie. Seven point five. Those are else with the story were predictable. That's why I rated it. Yeah, baby. Seven five. That's all horror A little above average though. movie. All yes, this, that's all horror movies though. Some of the jump scares scared me, especially the crawling portions, because that really just it didn't scare me. It just bothered me. Every time I freak, I got shivers up my spine. And I'm just like tensing up. Yeah. So that did really well. The actors were okay, but no, overall it was a pretty good movie. I enjoyed myself. Robert thought it was garbage. And he did not like it so well. Okay, he gets bad because look, sometimes when I get out of movie. I'm going to say how I feel on that. No. Th- that moment. He got up. Stood on top of me. Looked down at me. Garbage. Like, <laughs> <Because> <laughs> <you're> <laughs> I do that because I go off of feelings. But sometimes when I go back home, I'm like, okay, let me really think about it. But in reality, it just wasn't. I'm just When it comes to horror movies, there's not too many horror movies that gets me like, oh, snap. I got to watch it again. Like, I wouldn't oh, no. watch it again. I watch it again maybe at night with some friends. Just yeah, just, if the, they haven't seen it yet, cool. just to freak them out. I would not yeah. watch it again by myself. Yeah, which, which is, which I is cool. Demon, I'm going to run my demons to my house. Yeah. But anyway. <laughs> but yeah, man, um, yeah, let us know in the comment section below mm-hmm. if you watch this movie or you are going to watch it. Also, uh, like, subscribe, and uh, let us know how you feel. Definitely. Uh, let us know in the comment section below, as he said. Have you seen the other uh, the Conjuring-based movies? The Conjuring 1, Conjuring 2, Annabelle 1. And apparently they're coming with a uh, spin-off sequel of, I think, the Conjuring 2 episode called yeah. The Nun. It's coming yeah. in 2018. And then, or no, Conjuring 1, I think, is The Nun. Conjuring 2 is The Crooked Man, which hasn't even been announced yet. That's a coming-up movie. No release date yet for that one. And also, so. make sure you stay to the... If you have not watched the movie, make sure you stay to the end end of the movie also. Yes. I know there's a lot there's of people that credit up, scene yeah. and an after credit scene as well. It's yeah. all, it ties into everything else, so it helps a lot. Yeah, I know because I know a lot of people, they want to know sometimes if they should stay. It's just like Marvel movies. You want to know if there's something at the end. So yes, do stay for mm-hmm. the very, very end. Very, very end. After all the credits yes. are done... Um, You'll, you'll, you'll see like something There is really a cool. mid credit scene. That's not the last one. There's one after all the credits yeah. roll right at the end of the movie. Mm-hmm. So stay for that one too. Yeah. All right. Uh, so like, thank you all for joining us today. Um, it's your boy with B87. I'm Rio Nixio. And we'll catch you later. Bye. She wanted permission to move into the doll. We soon realized 
It wasn't our daughter. So we locked it away. He's coming after me. Because I'm the weakest. You help me. What do you need?